my game financially is business, number one. Second is real estate. And that's why I pay no taxes. That's why Trump pays no taxes legally. It is a combination of business and real estate that gives us an unfair advantage over our employees because they don't know what to do. So in other words, there's three things. There's appreciation, amortization, and depreciation. So the way guys like Trump and Kushner and the rich guys do it is called the McDonald's formula of business. So McDonald's has a business, right? They have a hamburger stand. And when you interview Ray Kroc, the founder of McDonald's, if you saw the TV, I mean the movie, The Founder, he gave the formula away. The perp, the the business of McDonald's is not hamburgers. The business of McDonald's is real estate. And that's the formula. So every time you go past a McDonald's stand, oh, you, you know, you deserve a break today, eat at McDonald's. And, but they're not seeing the real game. The game is that little hamburger stand is buying the most expensive real estate in the world. So today McDonald's owns more real estate than the Catholic Church. You know, but they all oh, the rich are evil and all that. They just can't see it. So I have the rich dad company in the business side. So let's say I make a million dollars. I don't want to pay tax on that. So I take that million dollars instead of spending it on something stupid. I buy a piece of real estate. So let's say for five million. So I go from one million to five million. Then I appreciate, depreciate, and amortize that five billion, and that offsets my one million dollars in tax. Uh, the New York Times and communist organization who hate, they hate Trump, yeah, they hate him. I don't blame them, but they just announced that Trump hasn't paid taxes. Well, duh. Don't you know anything? Rich don't pay taxes. You read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, one of the chapters in his corporations in the history of taxes. You know, duh. You commie pinkles and government and and YouTube and Twitter and all that stuff. I mean, if schools taught you anything, you would know America was founded in 1773 on a thing called the Boston Tea Party. America was founded on a tax revolt. You know, they threw the tea in the water in Boston Harbor. I don't know if you guys studied that in school anymore. But they, they threw the tea in the water in Boston Harbor in, seven, I think it was 1773, and the revolution took place in 1776. But America was born in a tax revolt. Americans hate paying taxes. And the thing that the politicians don't tell you is every time they say we're gonna tax the rich, which is really a Robin Hood theory of economics, we're gonna tax the rich, they never tax the rich because the rich aren't that foolish. You know, one of the reasons I love real estate is because real estate involves two things, debt, taxes. The more real estate I own, the less real estate I pay. Notice Trump owns a lot of real estate. You know, it's only, it's only the people that invest in the stock market who have, who have master's degrees, who have jobs, who are doctors and lawyers, who pay taxes. Wake up. So read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. It's all in there. Do you know, if you want to pay taxes and all that, go to school, get a job, become a doctor or a lawyer, you know, vote for the communists. I don't know what else you want to do, but just look at history. America was founded on a tax revolt. You know, in 1943, there was a, there was a passage of a law called the Current Tax Payment Act. And the Current Tax Payment Act was to pay for World War II. And that was sold on, we tax the rich only. And I think it was about 3% tax on the rich. So let me ask everybody right now, how much tax do you pay? Is it 3%? And the, the reason that people like me hate taxes is every time you give a bureaucrat money, they just spend more money. And that's why taxes keep going up. And there's more people saying, gimme, 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 gimme. You know, so welfare, social security, poor people, I don't know, this, 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 this. We're bankrupt. But if people had fought against taxes like they did back in 1773, we wouldn't be having this problem with Trump right now. We'd be a lot richer country not paying taxes. You see, there's other ways you can pay for the economy, but when you, every time you say I'm gonna tax the rich, 
then it taxes the poor and middle class and makes life harder on the poor and middle class. But that's all in Rich Dad, Poor Dad. So it's just breaking news now that the communists who run the New York Times and Washington Post, they're some of the most highly educated, stupid people I've ever met. It's just like my poor dad. They don't know shit about taxes. You know, if they lost their job, the cats would eat them in the street. They don't know they couldn't survive. So anyway, that, that's who's running our economy right now. <clears throat> and they think it's big news that Trump didn't pay taxes. We stopped paying tax, taxes in 1773, wherever you've been. So for all you commie pinkles out there who think it's not fair that the rich don't pay taxes, let me just say this much. I have control over my taxes. There's a big difference. And the reason I don't pay taxes is because I invest in programs the government wants me to invest in. So it's not like I'm just sucking the money in this way. You know, I get tax breaks for having employees. I get tax breaks for providing low-income housing. I get tax breaks for what's called R&D. You know, like right now, we're, we're spending a lot of money at Rich Dad for new projects and all that. Well, those are all tax breaks. But they're tax breaks for the capitalists to make more money. And that's really the tax law. And that's covered in Rich Dad Poor Dad, in case you missed it, because your school teacher has Chairman Mao as their hero. Do you know, I mean, you've really got to grow up. And that's what Rich Dad Poor Dad is. I'll say it again. It's not that I don't pay taxes. I'm giving tax breaks because I'm doing what the government wants done. Right now, most of the, our taxes are going to war. I've already fought in war. I don't want to donate money to war anymore. I'd rather donate money into low-income housing. You see, so what financial education gives you is control over your tax, over your money. And so you don't get all upset when the New York Times and the Communist News Network of CNN announces Trump didn't pay taxes. Oh, you're not supposed to pay taxes if you know what you're doing. The government will give you tax breaks to do what the government wants done. And that's the truth. So today you have most of these people who have a financial plan and they want you to give them their money. You know, put your money in stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETF, and savings. Okay, you know. <laughs> and most of that money is gone anyway, as we talked about earlier. In the last two years of most people's lives, all that money disappears anyway. So what's the end game for Kim and I here? And for Kim and I, our end game is the end financial plan is this money goes into what's called a CRT, a charitable remainder trust. This charitable remainder trust then means the government can't tax me. That's the reason. And you know, and you gotta study taxes. The only people that pay taxes are these people here because they're not doing what the government wants. Over here, I'm a partner with the government. The reason I get a tax break here is because I provide jobs. These guys don't provide jobs. I get a tax break here because I invest in real estate. Most people have a house. I have thousands of houses and we provide housing. I provide oil, you know, so I'm a, I get the tax breaks because the government's my partner. If you go to school and get a job over here, you will pay this tax. And you should, because you're not doing what the government wants. I do what the government wants. So at the end of our lives here, we're gonna put it here into a CRT. And the goal is the government can't tax that money. And it goes out, and our, for Kim and I, Our goal is every year, we're gonna give 100 million to charity, every year. Most people will be broke at the end of their lives. So we're gonna give all this money back and for into perpetuity, charities that we support. Like I'm, I'm very much into the oceans, so I support Greenpeace. Kim loves animals, so she supports animals. We support all these things that we can't do because we're working our businesses. So we give our money back to charities. We give it to boys and girls clubs and other charities all over the world. 
A hundred million dollars for a lot of people, you know, for kind of like Trump, not a lot of money. For us, it's a lot of money. So a hundred million dollars a year is our goal. Today, we're probably, if, if, if I died and Kim died today, it would probably be 25 million a year. But I have probably another 10 years, 20 years to live. So my, <coughs> this is the ultimate goal. Kim has probably another 30 years. So can we make this? Most likely. And if, if we don't make it, we're still at 25 million today. But that's the end game here. We just give it back. And because we give it back, the government doesn't tax us. That's why I love the tax law. That's why we have Tom Wheelwright who wrote the book Tax-Free Wealth and all this. So the reason we study so hard is so we can just give it back, but most of these people can't do that. And that's why the government gives us tax breaks. A hundred million dollars is a lot of money. I know most people ask that's nothing, but that's a lot of money. That means we have to have several billion in assets to do that. And we're close. That's the game, to give it back and pay no tax and get rich and have fun. Yeah.